Ukakaribisha tu watu katika maisha yako urembo wa uso na karibisha watu kwa maisha yako wakati haujaolewa lakini wakati umeolewa unaondoka kwenye nyuso wako na unaingia kwenye moyo na pia wa mwanaume pia vile vile It is only us who says that man has got a beautiful wife Ni sisi tu ambao tunasema ah yule jamaa ako na mke mrembo The husband may not see that beauty it is only us that he says, hey, na ameolewa na jamaa poa, ameolewa na jamaa fit, jamaa eh, six pack, jamaa he, eh, mtol six, eh, six feet. Ni sisi tutu na nyimu na semanga hivyo, muke wake anaweza kuwa, uyo jamaa kiingia city, akiingia city room, mama anaenda bedroom. Buwana zwe sana. Amen. So you need to know and that's why many people miss the point. Na hapo ndipo watu wengi hukosea. Ndio nasikia mtu akisema mimi nikiolewa na jamaa kama huyo. Mimi nitakuwa nimetulia nimefika. Na yeye mama anatafuta mahali pa kutorokea. Bwana azwe sana. Na kuambia mimi nikipata mke kama huyo. Hai, si nitafanya nini? Na yeye jamaa hata anakujanga nyumbani saa sita, akute watu wamelala. Kwa sababu urembo unatoka kwa uso inaingia kwa moyo. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. Na ndio maana mimi upenda kuambia wazee na kuambia wewe mama. Ukishaolewa mambo ya kusema hauwezi ukafanya hii job ama hii job kwa sababu I don't know what watu watakuona that one doesn't matter umeolewa umeolewa what is important now is to take care of your family. Kile cha muhimu ni sasa kwa hiyo kushughulikia familia yako. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Mambo ya mzee kusema ati oh huwezi kufanya hii kazi ati si watu watakuona I don't know what if you are married now what is important what is beautiful what makes you outstanding is the ability to take care of your family. Kile cha msingi ni kufanya kwa hiyo kushughulikia familia yako ndicho kitakufanya ukuwe mume mbaye amesimama what you do you do nobody cares kila unachofanya hakuna mtu anajali the only people that cares is your family because it feed them wale ambao wanajali ni familia yao yako kwa sababu hiyo ndio inawalisha it takes them to school inawapeleka shuleni that is what matters hicho ndicho cha maana kwa hivyo wewe ambao ni mzee wewe ni kijana ambao uko mahali hapa wakati ambao utaoa mambo ya kuchagua kazi unawacha ile kitu ambayo inastahili na muhimu ni kuwekelea chakula kwa meza, ni kulipa rent, ni kulipa school fees, ni kufalisha watu wako. That is what matters. Hicho ndicho cha msingi. Kama umeketi karibu na kijana mwambie that is what matters. What matters. Eh, that is what matters. Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Kama umeolewa na mtu ambaye unaona huyu anahitaji msaada labda Alipokuwa hakusoma vizuri na kazi vizuri mama usiachie mzee wako mpaka avunjwe mgongo na mashida Sema unakataa kukaa nyumbani tafuta kazi enda uza vitu barabarani do something to take care of your family it is no longer now about getting married about beautiful it is about taking care of your family. Kuhusu kushughulikia familia yako sasa. Tuko pamoja vizuri? Amen. Nipungie mkono kama tuko pamoja. Nipungie mkono kama unafurahia mafundisho yangu hata kama ninajua ninaweza kuwa naona na kukananga. Mose what is important? Ni watoto waende shule. Si ushawa. Au na mtu anakupenda tena, wana wakupenda na kudanganya. Sasa what is important? What is important? Wanapenda mfuko yako sio wewe. <laughs> Bwana asiye sana. Amen. Glory to God. Ndio maana wanakupenda na wanasema na wanajua bado umeoa. Au wanajua wewe ukaoa. Lakini wanangangania pale maana ni mfuko unapendwa sio wewe. Na kila mwanaume aliye mahali hapa sio Mose peke yake. Ni kila mwanaume aliye mahali hapa. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Glory to God. I want to talk about because of time eh uh, seven things that are important or the seven foundational factors for your marriage nataka kuzungumzia kuhusu mambo saba ambayo ni ya msingi kwa ajili ya ndoa yako eh msingi jinsi ya kuweka msingi mzuri katika ndoa msingi mzuri katika ndoa msingi mzuri katika ndoa 
msingi mzuri katika ndoa Number one, ya kwanza ambayo ikikosekana katika hiyo ndoa itakuwa na inatingika inaweza kuwa lakini ina mashida sana kidogo tu unasikia inatingika gari linapitia pale nje kidogo unasikia imetingika bwana asifiwe ndege imepitia pale juu tu ndoa inatingika kwa sababu iko na mambo ya msingi haina msingi mzuri bwana asifiwe jambo la kwanza ni respect ama heshima respect heshima Never believe to your wife or your husband. Usiwae mdarao mke wako ama mume wako. Even your children. Hata watoto wako. Learn to respect them. Jifunze kwa heshima. Never believe to them before people. Usiwae wadharau mbele ya watu. Never make them look like fools before people. Usiwae wafanya wakakaka na kwamba ni wajinga mbele ya watu. The people you are trying to please to believe to your husband, your wife, your children, the people you are trying to please they are not your family wale watu ambao unajaribu kufurahisha ukiwadharau familia yako sio hao sio familia yako when things become worse mambo yakiwa mbaya you will never see them beside your bed hautawahi waona kando ya kisha kitu they will never wash you hawata kuosha when things are bad wakati mambo yameharibika but your wife will wash you lakini mke wako atakuosha your children will sacrifice for you watoto wako watajitolea kwa ajili yako they may drop from school because of you wanaweza toka shuleni kwa ajili yako to take care of you ili wakakushughulikia anybody from your nuclear family mtu yote kutoka kwa familia yako ya karibu they will pay the price watalipa gharama when everybody else has left wakati kila mmoja ameondoka they would pay the price wao ndio watalipa gharama and even those people na hata hao watu when your husband or your wife or your children leaves mke wako ama mume wako ama watoto wako wanapoondoka they die wanapokufa none of those people can take their place in your family hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza chukua nafasi yao Nobody katika familia yako never become the mother of your children hakuna mtu anaweza kuwa mama wa watoto wako no matter how beautiful they are haijalishi ni warembo kiwango no gani no matter how learned they are haijalishi wamesoma kiwango no gani no matter how reasonable they are haijalishi wanajua kufikiria namna gani they will never become hawatawahi kuwa the, fa- the mother the father of your children hawataikuwa mama ama baba ya watoto wako they can assist wanaweza kusaidia they can be close wanaweza kuwa karibu but the truth is lakini ukweli ni kwamba they don't carry his blood hawa baby damu yao they can never be their mother hawawezi kuwa hawezi kuwa mama yao no matter how foolish your mother is haijalishi mama yako ni mjinga ina gani you can only have one mother in life unaweza una, 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 tu kuwa na mama mmoja katika haya maisha a woman can have many wives husbands mwanamke anaweza kuwa na wanaume wengi a woman can have many husbands. Mwanamke anaweza kuwa na ume wengi. Eh, married by any husband and a wife can be married by many men. Na pia mama anaweza kuwa na waume wengi. And they love them. Na wanawapenda. But nobody can never take the place. Lakini hakuna mmoja anaweza kuchukua nafasi. To be the mother or the father of your children. Ambaye anaweza kuwa baba ama mama ya watoto wako. That's why you should never incite your children. Ndio ndio sababu usiwahi fanya watoto wako. Against your mother, against their mother or against their father. Wakasimama kinyume na baba yao ama mama yao. Of course I know nobody can incite you. Najua hakika najua hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza kufanya against your mother or to actuate your, your father. Ukachukia baba yako ama mama yako. They themselves they behave in a way. Wao wenyewe wanaweza kukaa kana kwamba. They cause you to hate them. Inaweza fanya wewe uwachukie. Not to want to have anything to do with them. Usitake kuwa na chochote na wao. Because of the way they have behaved. Jinsi wamefanya mambo. They be towards you. Jinsi zizi wamekuongelesha. But let it be between them and their father and their mother. Lakini wacha ikawe kati yao baba yao na mama yao. Somebody say amen. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. So respect is very important. Kwa hivyo heshima ni ya muhimu Never sana. Never be little. Usiwahi dharau your wife, mume wako or your husband. Ama mke wako. Before people. Mbele ya watu. Let people know. Wacha watu that wajue. You respect your wife. Ya kwamba wewe unamheshimu. You love mke, them. Unawapenda. You honor them. Unawaheshimu. You respect them. Unawaheshimu. Unawatambua. Unawatambua. But let them know that you respect your wife. Let them know that you respect your husband. Wacha wakajua kwamba unawaheshimu na kuwatambua mume wako ama mke wako. Let you have problem with your husband or your wife. Wewe unaweza kuwa na shida na baba yako na mke wako ama mke wako. You own you have your own wars and and the, the fights. Mko na vita vyenu na na shida zenu. But let nobody come uh, 
uh, your mother, your brother, your uncles. Let none of them come uh, uh, to, to incite you against your husband, against your wife. Let your shish, his shoes remain in your home. Wacha usiwache mtu yote kutoka nje akaingilia ya mambo yenu wacha mambo yenu ikoe mambo yenu pekeenu Somebody say amen Amen Glory to God Utukufu kwa Mungu Hallelujah Hallelujah I'm talking about an ordinary normal family Nazungumzia kuhusu familia ya kawaida You see there are some exceptions Unajua kuna special cases Kuna zile za kipekee You need to bring maybe your brother or your your dad or your mom or maybe a, a pastor or maybe a counselor because uh, this one is beyond the two of you. But where there are just no more challenges, no more fights like another family, uh, misunderstanding, uh, uh, let your misunderstandings be there and let nobody come to interfere with your misunderstanding. Let nobody come to, to incite you against your husband and your wife. Uh, let people know that you love your husband, you love your wife. Amen. Glory to God. Yeah, because they will honor them. And you remember this. Ujua hivi ya kwamba shida uisha na shida yako na bwana yako ikiisha unajua hautaenda kuambia watu shida ilisha. Kwa hivyo watu wana hiyo mentality ambao uliwaambia ndio bado wako nayo wanajua bwana yako ni mbaya ni shetani ni pepo. Kwa hivyo wako na hiyo mentality Kwa hivyo hata wakati ambaye atabadilika hawata badilika their mentality towards him or towards her. That's why it's not there is it's not important. Kwa hivyo si amana. not good. Si mzuri. To expose the nakedness Kutua of your husband ya or wako, your wife ama mke wako. Until unless they have crossed the red light. Labda kama wamepita mipaka. The red line. Mipaka. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. I say glory to God. Sema utukufu kwa Mungu. So respect is very important. Kwa hivyo heshima ni muhimu sana. Show respect to your wife. Kwa hivyo heshimu mke wako. Show respect to your husband. Heshimu mme wako. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. That is a good foundation for your marriage. Hiyo ni, ni kitu ya muhimu mzuri ama msingi mzuri kwa ajili ya familia. Number 2. Kitu ya pili. You must show love. Lazima ukaonyesha upendo. You must show love. What is love? Love is showing concern. Upendo ni nini? Upendo ni kuonyesha kujali. Eh? Kuna 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 video niliona kwa TV. Eh, ya jamaa mmoja ambaye anathiri jamaa na mapepo. Yaani anaona ana view ana view mke wake akikunywa sumu. Mke wa mtoto wako. Rafiki yako. No matter how wicked they are. Mtu ambaye ungeanguka pale kwa bahati mbaya ama 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 uchomeke gazi ripuke kwa bahati mbaya huyo ndio mtu ambaye angekusaidia angekupeleka hospitalini kabla sisi ambao na fume kutuonyesha atujakuja na atujaona how do you fume the wife the, the mother of your children taking poison nachukuaje video mke wako akiwa alas wewe ni shetani mwenyewe hata shetani zidani kama anaweza kubali hiyo wewe unaweza kuwa ndio baba ya shetani how do you do that? I mean, kuyu bibi unamuita bibi shetan ni mtoto wa mtu kama haa watoto umezaliwa na huyo mama. How do you feel? Mtu wakitesa mschana wako. Yani mtu angalie mschana wako agikunywa sumu. Hata kama ni muenda wazimu. Unawewe unakichwa mzuri ungekimbia umnyang'anya hiyo sumu maana anakunywa kwa sababu ni mwenda wazimu Hello Are we together? Tuko pamoja. Unajua kuna watu kunajua kuna statement tunahitaji kubadilisha. Tunasemanga huyo mtu ni mnyama hapana Ni wanyama wanasaili kuanza kuambiwa huyo mnyama ni kama mtu. Eh? Kwa sababu mambo ambayo tunafanyanga to our fellow men hata wanyama ngombe wezi kafanyia ngombe mwenzake. I'm telling you. Ndofu haiwezi kafanyia ndofu mwenzake. 
kwa sababu hata buffalo zikishikwa na, na simba the fellow buffaloes wanakujanga kuisaidia kupigana na simba they risk their life because of the one of their own Bwana asifiwe men are more evil than animals wanadamu wamekuwa waovu zaidi kuliko hata wanyama men are more evil than animals wanadamu wamekuwa waovu kuliko wanyama the most dangerous weapon they have not been formed to kill animals zile zile silaha hatari sana hazijawekwa kuua wanyama nuclear weapons za wanyama <laughs> nuclear weapons za wanadamu in fact bunduki ya wanyama hata ni the most simplest kama kuna kiingereza ina hiyo ile tu inatoa kisas kama tu tu inagonga ndofu ya wanadamu imewekwa mpaka anajiweka mshipi hapa marisas Ha? ya wanadamu ya kuwa mwanadamu na mwanadamu akuli mtu you would expect ya simba ndio iwe mbaya maana simba akikukaribia atakuua anatakukula lakini mwanadamu ndo ametengenezewa the most lethal weapon kuna ndege za, za vita zimetengenezewa kuwa ndofu ndege zote za vita ni za kuwa wanadamu because men are more wicked and the evil and the dangerous than animals. Kwa sababu wanadamu wamekuwa hatari na waovu kuliko hata wanyama. You must have empathy. Lazima ukuwe na huruma. Amen. Yes. Hata kusalimia na bwana yako amekuja ama bibi yako amekuja kutoka job ama karibu habari ya job hata unaingia kutoka nyumbani unaenda unatoa koti unaenda kulala unaenda kuchukua TV hakuna salamu hakuna umeshindaji Hakuna, I don't know what. What kind of a life is that? Ni maisha ina gani? Amen. Hata mtu anakuwa mgonjwa, ni mke wako, ni bwana wako ako mgonjwa, ako pala you don't even care. Unaona huyu jamaa anateseka, anangangana na unaona pesa hakuna na ume, umeficha shilingi 1500 kwa account. Unashangaa hiyo pesa ni ya ni ya kwani una mpango wa kuolewa na hujaniambia so unataka nikufe ama namna gani ndio uanze familia nyingine na hiyo pesa i thought hii familia ni yetu umeficha milioni kwa account na hapa tunateseka na nashindwa kulipa school fees unasema alipe ndio mwanaume na uko na pesa na ni kweli mimi ni mwanaume sijakataa lakini unanijua tu na unajua mapato yangu unajua mshahara yangu you know me kweli kama wewe unanipenda na unanijali jameni hata naiba ama rafiki yako job ukisikia akiteseka si ungemsaidia ninajua ungemsaidia mimi bwana yako mimi ambaye nilikulipia mahari hmm? eh mimi ambaye ndio mtu wako mtu aweza kuguza mimi ndio tuko na wewe pale tunalala na wewe kitanda moja in case uanze kukosa hewa usiku ndio mtu wa kwanza ukupepetea <coughs> eh na uko pale tu unaacha ninateseka kwa nini usikubaliane na mimi kwanza kwamba wanadamu ni wanyama kuliko wanyama some say empathy empathy Yeah, show love. Onyesha upendo. Eh, kujali. Onyesha kujali. Bwana asifiwe sana. Unaona nywele ya mke wako ndio hiyo imeparala, inakaa kama magunia ila kubeba mahindi. Eh? Unaona ndio huyo, unajua tu ana pesa, unajua anateseka, lakini umeficha, eh? Unasha, yani umekuwa kama ule mtu anasemanga, anasemanga wabali zenu huko wapi? Tume tumefu, tumeshikwa 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 tumepeleka hospitali na tafuteni viazi na mkule hapo na, na na nini na managu eh uko wapi hospitali uje kukuona hapana huko hawataki watu watembelee watu naona jamaa anakula nyama pale eh? if you don't love somebody don't marry them marry somebody you can you can love Because love covers mistakes. Of course 
before you marry me, I want to declare and announce to you, I am not perfect, I will never be far- perfect. I can never be 100% faithful. That's one you better take it for me. I can never be 100% truthful. You better believe, you better get it from the beginning. No, it is only God. Who can be faithful 100%? Who can be true truthful 100%? Only God who can be there for you all the time. I am not omnipresent. I am Bishop Mutua. I'm not on, 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 on omnipresent. So, create some loom, room. Tengeneza nafasi. In your heart for me, in case you find some shortcomings that cannot be corrected, that, that is my weakness. I have some space because even you, I have some space for you. You know, the reason why I was meditating on the word of God. And uh, you know, I was meditating on this word. The Bible says, judge that you may not be judged. And uh, the reason why God was saying that, Jesus was saying that, he was teaching about, uh, uh, it was, there was, it was in, from that woman who was caught in the adultery and uh, Jesus began to teach about adultery, and uh, that uh, after he began by saying, "Judge, that you may not be judged." And uh, he said that uh, if any man looks at a woman lustfully, interpret what I'm saying. Watch what I'm saying. So interpret what I'm saying. If a man looks at a woman lustfully. He has already committed adultery in his heart. So Jesus was saying, "To kianza kushema stufuate sheria vizuri, eh, to the latter, bila munatak, timu msema Musa alisema, mtu akishikwa kama anatenda usherati, anatenda uzinzi." Si mumekuja kuniambia Musa alituambia so mnataka tufuate sheria tumpige mawe bas Dile mtu wako hapa ambao hajaona mtu akajipata macho yamepita na yeye bas Asimame hapa Wale waliona na macho na wale waliochukua hatua Wafanye nini Sina sheria Maandiko wakasema wakaanda kutoka dini moja kwa moja. Oh, in other words, I'm saying that kwamba you should not judge your spouse so hard usi, usi, as though you have never made a mistake or you never make a mistake usi, ukumu, or you can never make a mistake. Usi ukumu mwenzako viba zaidi kwa, kwa nguvu zaidi kwa sababu laki, ni kama oe ujai fanya makosa. Ni kama. Ni kama. Mwana ya manane na kusumbua. Ni kama. Can you interpret like you are preaching? Interpret what I've said. Nasema ya kwamba usi hukumu mwenzako vigumu sana kwa sababu ni kama wewe labda kama wewe haujawahi fanya makosa. In other words, anasema kwamba have grace when you are judging people. Ama kwa maneno mengine anasema ya kwamba ukue na neema unapofanya ufanye hukumu. Amen. Amen. Have what? Grace. Judge people fairly. Judge people with grace. Judge people knowing that because they have done that as a human being, even you as a human being, you can find yourself in that mess. Hukumu watu kwa naema ukijua kwamba kwa sababu wamefanya hivyo kama wanadamu, hata wewe kama wanadamu naweza jipata mahali pale pale. Somebody say amen. Amtu asema amina. So you must do it with the love. Kwa hivyo lazima ufanye hivyo kwa upendo. Sometimes you cover love, you cover their mistakes with the love. Wakati mwingine unafunika makosa yao na upendo. Sometimes you correct them with the love. Wakati mwingine unawarekebisha kwa upendo. Sometimes you rebuke them with the love. Wakati mwingine unawakemea kwa upendo. But not like your enemies. Lakini si kama maadui zako. Not with the anger, not with the bitterness, not with the hatred. 
not with the anchor, not with the bitterness, not with the hatred. Remember they are your fellow brother, they are fellow sister. Remember they are the father of your children, they are the mother of your children. Kumbuka hao ni ndugu ni dada wako na kumbuka pia ni baba na na mama watoto wako. Amen. Amen. They are not your enemies. Hao sio maadui zako. Some may be but they are not your enemies. Wengine wanaweza kuwa lakini sio hao sio maadui zako. Wale ambao kweli ni maadui wako ni wale wamepagawa na shetani. Sio mtu ako na udhaifu wa kikawaida. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Yes, learn to show concern. Jifunze kuonyesha kujali. Glory to God. Amen. And uh, on the same breath remain friends. Tunakuambia pia tuendeleeni kuwa marafiki. Amen. Mambo ya kucheza eh mchongo wano kucheza eh ya michezo eh kutrikiana ya mambo ya bayo unajua una, una, kuna watu wanakaanga wako wakali wako wakali kwa bi, hako mkali hako mkali kama mzee ni kama yeye ndio OCS wa hiyo police station ni kama kwake ni police station na yeye ndio OCS eh ni mkali akiingia pale haongei na watu anaulizwa anasema eh alizwa anasema eh eh yeye ni eh achezi na mama achezi na watoto eh sasa wa, unataka wakachezi na nani ati wajeni kunichezea unataka wakachezi na nani eh bwana asifiwe watoto wako you remain their father forever they don't care they don't care that ukiwa na mvi Oh, ni baba yako. Eh? Ni watoto wako na utabaki baba yao. Nakumbuka nikiwa na watoto wangu wakiwa wadogo I miss those days. Umelala wanakuja wanakupanda kwa kichwa. Eh wana wanakuvuruta wana nywele. Eh wengine wanakukonjolea kwa kichwa una, una usipochunga usipochunga huyu anajua maana tulikuwa na watu kuwalea. Bwana asifiwe sana. Eh? Amen. Wengine wanakatalia kwa mabega wataka kushuka. Amen. You are their father you will forever be their father and their mother. They don't care umekuwa manager, umekuwa director, umekuwa nani headmaster, wewe ni headmaster uko shuleni. Usiwaletee headmaster wako. They don't care those things. Amen. And they will grow like another child. Watakuwa tu kama watoto wengine. Wengine watafuta sigara. Wengine wataonja pombe. Wengine watakuwa wanaenda wanakuja jioni usiku. Maana ni wewe ulikuwa unafanya nini wewe? Hiyo ndio tabia ulikuwa nazo. Ukua kwa hiyo miaka wako. Halo? Si ndio hiyo? Si ndio hiyo wewe unaniangalia hivyo hapa unaniangalia umejifanya hivyo. Walikuwa na wasichana, si walikuwa na wasichana. Hiyo miaka. Sasa wamaanza kujifanya ni kama hao ni tu malaika tudogo. They are growing. The Bible says Jesus grew like another child. Amen. He grew in wisdom. Alikuwa katika stature na pia katika kimo. Ndio maana hawawezi wakamea ndevu mapema maana ni watoto wa bishop. Watamea ndevu wakati wa kumea def. Hata kamea mapema maana ni watoto wa bishop. Hadi maana wameokoka. Hapana. So vile walikuwa ndio vile walikuwa ndio watakuwa. Hiyo wokofu yako punguza kwanza inakuharibia nyumba hiyo wokozi punguza hiyo wokofu yako inaharibu ndoa ndoa haitaki wokofu nyingi i'm telling you you are just privileged kuwa umeolewa na ndugu ameokoka umeolewa na bwa na, na umeoa bibi ameokoka at least anaenda church at least anaomba lakini huyo mama wakienda saloon Nywele ile anawekwa ndio ile wenye dhambi wanawekwa. Tuko pamoja ama tuko pamoja? Amen. Hakuna tofauti. Ndio maana ndoa za watu wa kuokoka ziko na shida. Nyingi kwa sababu wanaingiza wokofu kwa ndoa. Eh? Kama umeokoka. Hiyo mambo ya kama umeokoka wacha. Afadhali ungemuuliza kama unanipenda. Bwana ananifanyia hivyo. Mambo ya wokovu toa. Because sio kila mtu ameolewa, ameolewa na mtu ameokoka. Si ni kweli? Yeah. 
There are people who are married. They are not born again. They don't go to church, but they enjoy their marriage. So, mambo ya wakofu punguza. Kwa watoto wako. Ndiyo maana watakataa kuja kanisani. Ndiyo maana watanda kanisa ingini siyo hiyo yenu. Maana they want to be free. The way you used to be free. The way ulikuwa una, unakataa kuenda church. Unadanganya umeenda church. Na unanda sokoni. Iyo roo yako ndiyo kondani yao. Maana wajatoka mali pengine ametoka ndani yako. Si wewe ndio umewaza. Bwana azue sana. Number 3 ambao unahitaji for good communication. I mean for your go for uh, to lay a good foundation for your marriage. Kitu ya tatu unahitaji kwa good communication. Ukua msemaji mzuri. Make sure that you communicate. Hakikisha kwamba mnaongea vizuri. Sio kunyamaza umekasirika. Kuna watu wananyamaza wamekasirika. Mtu ujue ulimkosea wapi? Hapana. Communicate. Ongea. Communicate. Ongea. Communicate. Ongea. Umenikwasa. Umenikasirisha. Umenikosea heshima. Umenidharau. Communicate. Ongea. Communicate. Ongea. Tell somebody communicate. Eh. Sio kunyamaza wiki mzima. Mtu anashanganga sasa mpaka mpaka kila mtu anatembea polepole wazikupite wazikuguze. Maana umenyamaza na hatujui nini nimekunyamazisha. Hapana, communicate. Amen. Be clear. Nimekukosea hapana hujakosea hapana. Be clear sema ndio umenikosea. Kuna shida hapana hakuna shida. Unajua wa mama wanazamaka. Ukisikia mama akisema kuna shida wewe anza kutafuta vile hii shida utatatua maana kuna shida. Sasa wewe mama Usiseme hakuna shida, sema shida. Utasemea wapi na uko kwako? Utaenda kusemea wapi? Utauja kusemea kwa bisho mutua? Si usemea kwa hiyo mzee wako, kwa hiyo mke wako, sema shida kwake. Pana, pana sema at home. Na wewe ukiambiwa shida wachana na Biblia. Hadi Biblia inasema Ulipo muowa, ulimusomea Biblia? Ha? Ulimusomea Biblia? Ulipo muowa, ulimuambia nini? Nina kupenda. Uliongea maneno ya upendo. Ni mungu alimpenda ama ni wewe? Sasa mbona unengiza mungu hapo? Ati maandiko. Tusome maandiko. Aujakosea mungu, umekosea ndada mke wako, umekosea mze wako. Nyenyekea. Kubali makosa. Kubali aseme na wacha kupinga wacha kuankiu anasema moyo wake bwana zifiwe ulikikula unaniaibisha tukiwa na watu funganga mdomo waje kusema na kukalia si ni mke wako si ni mzee wako ambao ambao ndio maandiko nasema kwamba paulo anasema tusiwe na haraka ya kuoa Na hata anasema wengine tusiowe kwa sababu anasema we will be torn between pleasing our husband and the pleasing God. So if you are married, you have only two people to please. Kuna watu wawili wa kufurahisha. Hakuna hata mimi siwe nikakujipendekeza kwako kama ulioa you have no choice. Unajipendekeza. Kwa Mungu na kwa mzee wako na kwa mke wako. Ah wengine wachana nao ndo nikamwambia watu wengine wachana nao. Mungu anatarajia u balance between kumpenda na kupenda mke wako na kupenda bwana yako. Shida yako iko hapo. Sio watoto, ni kupenda mke wako na kupenda Mungu. Eh? Shida iko wapi? Bila utapenda mke wako na upende Mungu. Sema amen. Hallelujah. So you must learn to communicate. Lazima ujifunze kuongea. Na ukiambiwa kitu, mama akisema apendi kitu, mzee akisema apendi kitu, eh, wachana na kujitetea, wachana na kuna defense system, unahitaji muulize na unataka nifanye nini. Na unajua ninangorotanga kama nimelala, maana sijisikii. I wish ningekuwa najisikia, 
singe ngorota kama kungorota inakusumbua so kama inakusumbua sana mimi siyo tufanye nini tuombe tu Mungu atubariki na nyumba kubwa nikianza kungorota maana sijisiki either uhamie ukalala city room mpaka kungorota ishe ama niende city room maana there are things you cannot control Bwana asiwe sana so my point is don't forget na hiyo mambo mengine yote my point is don't defend yourself when somebody is saying hii kitu inaudhi hii kitu sipendi hii kitu inanisumbua if it is genuine amen amen listen together with your wife and your husband okay listen together msema zani eh muone kama ni genuine hiyo kitu na kama ni ukweli umulise tufanye nini tufanye nini communication ongea yeah. communicate and communicate very clearly ukaweza kuongea na uongee vizuri don't assume usidhanie ati bwana yako anajua anasema kupea pesa hapana don't assume unasema ati nimekaa hapa hata nimemaliza mwaka mzima aje nipatie pesa nimemaliza hii mwaka mzima aje nifanyia hii don't assume don't assume they don't live in your heart hawaishi kwa moyo wako i don't know what you are thinking mimi sijui unafikiria nini unless you tell me mpaka uniambie so don't assume kwa hivyo si assume eh amen amen waambie ninakupenda don't assume wana anajua ninampenda they don't know tell them ninakupenda tell me the mic kitu na unafanyanga inanichukishanga inanikasdishanga sipendi tell them don't assume si assume maana hiyo ndio inafanya unaanza kuwa na hasira umenyamaza na inaleta tension in the house somebody say amen mtasema amen nipungie mkono hata kama utaki mafundisho yangu communicate but communicate with the right tone ongea na uongee na, na sauti nzuri don't be sarcastic usikuwe na ile sauti ya madharau naanza kuita mwanako kingoroto hapana communicate with the right tone ongea na sauti nzuri unajua mama wanakuanga na shida ya filoliti kidogo wako hivyo wengi utishika wakiona wanapenda ku wanatishika kwa haraka they withdraw kwa haraka they especially wakipata wewe ni mtu mkali wewe ni mtu you not understand it. they easily withdraw so make sure that you use the right tone hebu hakisha kama umetumia hata kama amekosea use the right tone tumia sauti nzuri hata kama unasema kitu ambacho upendi use the right tone hata wewe mama use the right tone ongea kwa sauti tone tone talks about about much about you the tone you use speaks much about you ile sauti unatumia inaongea mengi kuhusu unaweza tukana mtu alie na mwingine atukane the same word wote wacheke is that true si ni kweli si ni kweli yes unaweza tukana na mtu ulie mwingine akutukane the way he, the same word nyote mucheke why because of the tone sababu ya sauti ambayo that has been used ambayo imetumika number 4 wakati wangu unaisha nne be a marriage that has got respect that has got love that values good communication right communication kuna usemi mzuri we love a good foundation takuwa na msingi mbora number 4 is a marriage where there is understanding ndoa ambayo kuna kuelewana you learn to avoid conflicts at all cost unajifunza kuepukana na ugomvi kila wakati don't be petty usikuwe mtu wa kuangalia vitu ndogo ndogo don't be petty usikuwe mtu wa kuangalia vitu ndogo ndogo there are some people who cause trouble in their marriages for no reason kuna watu ambao wanaleta shida kwa ndoa yao mambo petty 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 vitu petty ati maana ulisa uli ni 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 ulitumana maindi ya kuchoma na akasahau akasema nilijua tu utaleta nilijua tu wewe ukaleta nilijua tu na ni sawa tu ni sawa tu 
Vitu hazina maana. Those are petty things. Munasumbuana kwa sababu ya maindi. Maindi ulisao. Maindi. Kuna vitu za maana za kusumbuana katika ndoa. Munasumbuana kwa sababu ya maindi. Mutu amesoma, amesao bulb. Munasumbuana mbaka una, unasema hata ulali. Mbaka akulaliki kwa sababu ya bulb. Yuchukue kando. Wani ukule nyumbani ulizaliwa kulikuwa na stima. Tena ni one night. What am I saying? Avoid an unnecessary conflicts because of petty things. Petty things. Yapukana vitu ambavyo ni sivya maana. Ugombu ya vitu ambavyo sivya maana. Nilikutana na ndugu yako. Haku nisalimia. Inaonekana munipendi. Nikama munipangia. Hata yu nyumbani si jezi taenda. Sasa munaanda kukosana juu ya nyumbani. Hata mujapanga mutaenda lini. Hata mujapanga mutaenda lini. Lakini hapa muna pambana. Mama agisema, mama mzee agisema, si taenda huko nyumbani kwenu. Na hata mujiu mutaenda lini. Are you not fools? Yes. Eh? Hata yu December tu taenda nyumbani. Nana liwambia Yesu atakuwa mekuja. Mutakosa mbingu Yesu wakikuja kwa sababu ya kuenda nyumbani December. Avoid conflicts at all cost. Nepukana na kumavita kila wakati. It is not worthy. I style. Nyumba ambayo ina shida, ina stress, ina tension. Hakuna mtu wanataka kuishi pale. Hakuna mtu wanataka kuishi pale. Hata watoto wameenda kujifungia. Ano wameenda inchi wametoro wameenda. Maana hapo hakuna hakuna ewa ni mbaya. Ewa ni mbaya. Na ewa ikiwa mbaya nothing flies. Hata ndege azitui. Amen. Avoid the conflicts at all cost. At all cost. Don't cause unnecessary antagony to your husband, to your wife. Don't antagonize them for something ambayo it is not necessary, it is not important, it is not Tania, watu wata wako pale, watu wanalala, watu wamekaliana mikono, wamekaliana migu, watu wamelala pamoja, watu wanakula chipsi, watu wanakunyushana soda ya fanda. Sasa, hawa wanafurai na nyi muna kosana kwa sababu ya buwana yako, buwana na bibi ya ndugu yako. Vitu ambazo, they are not part of you. Mama yako na mzee wake wako nyumbani wanalisha mbuzi zao na kuku zao they are happy there nyinyi mnakosana hapa kwa sababu ya mama na kwa sababu ya baba yenu they had their time hawako wajinga kama nyinyi they take took off their fam, their marriage that's why they are still together when they are 60s and the 70s nyinyi mnataka kuachana mkiwa na 35 years kwa sababu ya watu wengine Paulo akauliza ni nani aliwaroga? Hello. Hello. Nipungie mkono kidogo tu hivi. Nipungie tena. Haya ya kunisindikisha nende you need understanding. Unahitaji kuelewa. How do you maintain that? Utafanya namna gani? Eh uh, Because sometimes sababu wakati mwingine this husband of yours and this woman of yours they have their own issues. Wako na 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 his mambo yao. Mashida zao. Mashida zao. Some of their problems have got nothing to do with you. Mashida zingine zao hata si si asikuhusu. Maybe in stress the job. Maybe in stress the marafiki zake walika yake wamejenga magorofa. Yeye ajajenga gorofa walikuwa pamoja university. Yeye yako pale wanaendesha magari yeye ana gari ako kwa boda boda anasikia vibaya anasikia demand anasikia mbilito anasikia an, ajipendi na yeye anakuja na stores zake nyumbani wewe unafikiria ni mambo yako it has got nothing to do with you so Mabeta. for you to be able to have that good family you Mabeta. need to learn to give space Give them space. Wape, wape na fasi yao. Kiyo na ataki manano mingi mpe space. Mpe na fasi yake. Kiyo na nikama amekua, amekasirika mpe space. Mpe na fasi yake. Aja tu, wea jipe shuguli zako. Enda uka, 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 uka sokoni kidogo. Nenda uka tembe. 
Nenda ukasikiza TV. Kwa sababu kama mtu wakona stress. Anangojea kidogo tu. Ni kama mbomu inangojea iguzwe kidogo tu ilipuke. Kwa nini unguze ilipuke? <laughs> Why? Why do you want to, <laughs> to blow out the nini? Why? You just leave it. Jipea shuguli. Download Facebook. Kama on Facebook. Download Facebook. Wanta kuangalia Facebook. Vituko za Facebook. Zaki na Victor na Suki na nani. Una download pala. Una kuangalia yata. <laughs> Amen. Pungia mkono ni nabu maliza. Mwambie mtu. Eh, kama mmekaa karibu na mzee, mwambie patia mama na vasi. Pana, unaona, unaoniza mtu maswali mingi na unaona ataki. Si wache. Muna kosana kwa sababu ya maswali. Unataka majibu. Iyo majibu itasaidia nini nyumba yako? Italeta mabati ya kujenga? Mambo ina maana maswali mingi. Unaoniza maswali mingi. Eh? Naona mtu wako na shida zake. Bona chakula imechelewa saa hii. Imechelewa maana imechelewa. Imechelewa maana imechelewa. <laughs> jibu unataka jibu gani jameni? <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Bona leo mnyamazi utaki maneno? Ni mnyamaza maana sitaki maneno. <laughs> Maana siku ile ambayo ninataka maneno si tunaongeanga si tunacheka tunapiga ma story si tunakuwa na mishene sasa ile ambayo ninataka maneno leo hata wewe unaona sitaki maneno si uniwache tu mbona nataka tukosane bure mbona <laughs> sana amen understanding somebody say understanding understanding say it again understanding understanding amen so number five of social, what do you call it? Have some social support outside your husband and your wife. Kuwa na marafiki inje wa... Shida watu wengi ya wana marafiki. Ya unasikia watu wana jinyonga. Wata kuambia watu wata rafiki yangu ni bibi yangu peke yako. Uwe ni uongo. Uwe ni ujinga. Kuwa na marafiki. Kama wani mwanaume, tafuta marafiki wanaume wenzako. Sangini mwanaongea nao, ulikuwa nafikiria bibi yako ndio mbaya, wanaongea unanyamaza, ulikuwa wanangojia umefika tani yako uongea unanyamaza. Unazema kwangu ni gozawa. <laughs> <laughs> Kuwa na marafiki wanaume. Sana. Wa mama wako na marafiki kila mali. Ndiyo nonanga wana nonanga. Wako sawa. Hawa na shida. Wako na marafiki. Ukimukosea, wanaenda kuambia. Wana muwanalia pamoja. Wana mshika mkono, wana muombea. Wako na marafiki. Wea una rafiki. Mana we ni mwanaume. Unakufanga kiume. Kupalo mejikausha we ni mwanaume una shida. Kuwa na marafiki. Watu munaenda munakunywe chai. Amongei mambo ya kanisa. Apana maana hawa siyo wachungaji. Unaongea mambo ya wanaume. Kama wanaume. Bwana asifiwe. Yes, munaongea mambo kama wanaume. Wanakuambia kwa mvue vile nanyesha. Na wana wambia kwenu vile kwa kwa vile mvue nanyesha. E, muna gundua kume kenya mzime kona mvua. Kwa hivyo wakuna shida. <laughs> Ni kenya mzima kona mvua. <laughs> Tumebarikiwa na nini? Na mvua kenya mzima. <laughs> Amen. Unaaja kujiulumia kufikiria kuwa bibi yako kufikiria kumwacha kwa sababu ya tesi nini unagundua hata kwenu ni manyunyu iko kwao ni mvua ya masika inaendelea number 5 is it number 5 6 learn to work together with your husband and your wife jifunze kufanya kazi pamoja na mke wako na mume wako don't fight your wife usipigie usipigane na mke wako ukiona ako na mradi anataka kufanya vitu mpatie support at the end of the day, itakuwa nasemekana, iyo kazi anafanya ni anani. Sine uyo mama. Halo, hiyo kazi ni anani. Nye uyo mama. Sine kweli. Na uyo mama ni anani. Kwa hivyo kazi na ye, mwenye kazi na kazi ni zanani. So why should I fight her? 
Wacha weke kuku, kuku ni zangu. <laughs> Wageni wakija tutazikula. <laughs> Wacha alime. <laughs> Ndiye ni kusema tu alitoa magunia 20. Sio magunia. Itakuja pale tuchukue tuuze. Tutachukuja pale tukule. Eh, ni yetu tu. Hakuna kitu, hakuna mia inishtui. Wacha kuwe manager, hakuwe director. Wada zamange, hey, bibi yake ni director, bibi yake ni manager. Mimi ushanka, wale wanaume upigana na mabibi zawa zifanya kazi. Ati anatongozwa. Wewe huko unafanyanga, hakuna wanaume, wanawake. Ati anatongozwa. Hiyo ni mawazo ya mwanaume mjinga, ana akili afikiri yani mpaka wadi yani wale wa kitamu wa nini wale wa, watu wa mashamba kabisa mpaka eh? wadi watu wale wa yani yani mtu wa nyuma kabisa wewe unasomesha watoto wako wasichana wakakaa nyumbani you don't expect your daughters to become managers and directors of companies Unafikia watakuwa nafanya kasi na nyani huko? My friends, ati asiende soko na sitongozo. Ata tongozo. Na ataamua atafanya nini ya kitongozo. Bana zifiwe. Ya. Yeah. Ata tongozo, ata tongozo angwa. Ata mama yu enambia leo ni metongozo. Ni metongozo. Ambia na ulifanya nini? Ayi. Mutu wazi kudanganye. Wanatongozwa. Mutu wazi kudanganye. Ne vile wanangopa kukwambio ziende kuwa na waziwasi. Wanatongozwa. Kwa nini wazi tongozwa na ni mama na ni mrembo na ni mdogo bado? So, hiyo haijastatua shida. Hata nyumbani atatongozewa huko. Kwa nini wako haido? Amen. Hiyo mambo ya kusema ati mama asifanya kazi ni mambo ya ujinga ni primitive thinking. Wacha mama afanye kazi. Bwana asifiwe sana. Akileta shilingi tano na wewe unaleta 10 mnakuwa na 15 bob. Amen. Teamwork. Wage za team. Fanye kazi kama team moja. Wage za team. Wage za team. Work as a team. Fanya kazi kama team moja. Learn to sit together, learn to pray together. Work towards goals, common goals together. Jifuze kumba pamoja, kukaa pamoja na kuweza kushugulikia goals ambazo ni moja. This will be a good foundation for your family. Number seven, number six or seven, to learn to pray together. Pray for your family. Jifu. Learn to pray for your family. Moses prayed for Joshua and they won the battle. Learn to pray for your husband. Learn to pray for your wife. Learn to pray for your children. You pray for them because they need guidance. They need leading from God. They need to make the right decision. They are not perfect. They are not wise enough. They are not bright enough. Nobody has got everything enough. They need you to pray for them for God to intervene in their lives. Jifunze kwa mba familia yako kwa nili munga kaingilia kati katika maisha yao. Don't just quarrel them. Pray for them. Sometimes it is the devil. Sometimes it is the wrong upbringing. So beside, after you quarter them, please pray for them. And the final point. That will lay a good foundation for your, for your marriage. Learn to give a hundred percent. Jifunze kupeana asilimia miya moja. Commitment. Kujitolea asilimia miya moja. To your marriage. Kwa ajili andawa yako. Pray like nobody else is praying for them. Oomba ni kana kwamba hakuna mungina na umbea yofamilia. Provide like nobody else is providing for them. Watlete vitu kuliko mtu mungina yote kama shai peana. Nini mbaya na wewe. Kuprovide na kushinda kuzema kutosheleza. Kutua. Kutosheleza. Kutosheleza. Amen. Do it like you are doing alone. Don't say, afanya hii na mini fanya hii. Fanya kana kwamba unafanya peke yako. Kama ameshindwa, kama ataki wewe endelea. Because these are your children. Awani watoto wako. Amen. Amen. 
hata kama analewangwa anakosa anjinuli nguo kumbuka mkienda kwa matanga nyumbani wewe ndio utaibika kwa hivyo nunua viatu na ununue kasuti mahali na kia tosa mahali na shati ufungie mahali hii hakuna kuvaa hii utakuwa unavaa tu tukienda mahali ndio nisiaibike sasa <laughs> ile mnaenda matanga unafungua hiyo briefcase unamwambia ufua na akimaliza mkitoka matanga mkitoka kwa harusi no, akitoa ukiosha sasa unachukua unaweka kwa briefcase hiyo ni kufunika aibu maana unajua ukimwachia anakunywa pesa yote na wakati mnaenda sui family gathering unaibika bwana asiwe sana Hello. Hallelujah. Amen. You give 100% jitole asilimia 100 to your family. Kwa ajili ya familia yako. Bwana asifiwe. Amen. Watoto wasikoze kusoma maana baba yao ni mlevi, maana baba yao asiye kona shida gani? Watoto wasikoze kuenda shule, wasikoze chakula, wasikoze mafasi kwa sababu ya either the wife or because of their father, wewe jitoe 100% and God will bless you. Mungu atakubariki. Na hata watoto si wajinga. Kwani hawaoni mama ndo alijitoa? Unafikiri hawaoni baba ndo alijitoa? Bwana asifiwe. And also again, hata wachana hivyo, you are setting a good example to your children. Unatoa mfano mzuri kwa ajili ya watoto wako. You are teaching them to be responsible husbands in the future, responsible wife. Unaonyesha jinsi ya kuwa wake wazuri ama waume wazuri. Na neno litaendelea. Next Sunday you'll come to teach about how to be an outstanding husband, how to be how to uh, the beauty or uh, the beauty of our woman, the beauty of our wife and uh, how to be an outstanding as a husband. Jumapili nayo kuja nitakuwa nazungumzia urembo wa mke na pia kuwa mume mzuri. Amen. Amen. Wanaweza asifiwe. Amen. Inua mikono ni kuombe. Baba katika jina la Yesu Ninakushukuru kwa sababu ya hizi familia ambao ziko mahali hapa. Ninasibariki katika jina la Yesu. Ninawaombea maisha marefu. Waone watoto wa watoto wao. Waweze kuishi na mzee wake mpaka wazeeke. Waweze kuishi na mke wake mpaka wazeeke katika jina la Yesu. Naomba mahali popote babo shetani ameingilia kuweza kuharibu nyumba zao, ninamkemea katika jina la Yesu. Naomba Mungu wangu kalete amani wazee walio kichwa ngumu wanaotesa wa mama baba ukavunje hiyo roho ya unyama ndani yao katika jina la Yesu wazee na wamama walio kama nabo they are not understanding korosam watu wa vita watu wa shida watu wa petty petty, petty things watu ambao hawapendi amani watu wa chokozi baba ninawaombea katika jina la Yesu lia ukaweze kuwabadilisha wakaweze kuwa wazee na wamama wa heshima wamama ambao wanapendeza watu ambao ni understanding katika jina la Yesu baba leta roho wa upendo katika mioyo ya wazee na wamama kwa jina la Yesu naomba kukawe na heshima ndani ya wazee na wamama katika yao naomba kukawe na heshima kila madharau roho ya dharau ikakome roho ya madharau ikakome katika nyumba zao katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai I pray for them my God let them be love in their families let them be respect in their families let them be good communication roho ya madharau ikakwisha kwa nyumba zao katika jina la Yesu I pray for unity that they will work as a team but not two different people in the mighty name of Jesus I pray that to learn to give them to be the priest of their families to learn to pray for their children pray for their future for their destiny Pray for their education, pray for their health, pray Father for their blessings, pray for their marriages, Father in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you give them, Father, the grace to be effective priest in their families in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I thank you and I bless your holy name. I thank you, Father, for hearing my prayers and I thank you for healing, Father, even our families. I thank you for restoring, Father, even our families in the mighty name of Jesus. And by for things I pray, provide for them my God. Open doors and opportunities. Open doors and opportunities for them for employment, for them for business, for them for wealth and the riches in the mighty name of Jesus. As the word says that wealth and the riches shall be in their house. Let them be wealth. Let the spirit of wealth and the spirit of riches 
Father, in the name of Jesus, be in their families. Be in their families. Let their children and the children of their children and their generation, Father, I pray in the name of Jesus, be blessed and their children be mighty in the land. In the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for blessing us. Thank you for blessing our families. I pray for the youth that are here, that have no families, that desire to have families. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless them with the God-fearing husband and God-fearing wives. Bless them with the blessed will to do husbands and wives in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless them, Father, I pray, with the faithful husband, with the faithful wives, with the hard-working wives, hard-working husbands in the mighty name of Jesus. Bless them, Father, I pray, with the peaceful husbands and wives. Bless them, Father, I pray, with the God-fearing husbands and wives. Bless them, Father, I pray, with the blessed husbands and wives. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless them with the boys, you will bless them with the girls. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that you will bless them with the peace in their marriages. In the mighty name of Jesus, and Father, I give you praise and I give you glory. Thank you, Father, for blessing us. Bless us as our family. Oh, my God, I pray. Bless my people. Let the world and the riches be in this ministry. That every person that comes into this ministry, Father, be blessed. Let them become rich. Let them become wealthy in the name of Jesus. Father, your word says that you will take away sickness and disease from our house when we serve you. Father, we are serving you, Father, in this house. Take away sickness and disease from every member, every child, every son, every daughter of this ministry in the name of Jesus. Father, you promised in your word that as we serve you, none shall be barren or miscarry. Father, in our ministry, I pray that every barrenness, every miscarriage be broken in the lives of these people. That they shall be fruitful, they shall be productive, they shall be prosperous wherever they go. In the mighty name of Jesus, I bless them with the blessings of riches, with the blessings of wealth, with the blessings of long life, with the blessings of good health, with the blessings of good marriages, with the blessings of cars and the lollies and the buses and the, and the pickups and the saloon cars with the blessings, Father, of all kind of wealth, all manner of wealth, in the name of Jesus. I pray that you connect them with the people who will be, add value to their lives in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray that you open doors and opportunities for them worth the hundreds of thousands, millions of shillings, billions of shillings in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. We worship you and we bless you in Jesus' name. Somebody clap your hands to Jesus. I say, somebody clap your hands to Jesus. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. Are you blessed? Amen. I want us to give to God. I want us to get into our pocket. Get a good offering. I do want to give to God. If you want to give your tithe, uh, you take it out. We want to give. When God blesses you, remember in every blessing, there is a part that belongs to him. There is the 10%. So if you don't tithe, always remember you are stealing from him. You are a thief of a tithe. Ten percent. I wonder how many thieves you have in this place. I pray that there are all the thieves will reduce. The number of the thieves will reduce. The thieves of tithe. I pray that the number goes down. Tell your neighbor, Bishop is saying, he is praying that the number goes down. Amen. Whoever comes and says, Dear good, tell them your number in the school. Amen. In that money God gives you, there is a seed if you want it to multiply. So, 
Kwa hivyo kuna mbegu kama unataka kila ambacho uko nacho kikaongezeke. Unapanda mbegu. Amen. Amen. And if you are happy that God blessed you in that what God has given to you there is an offering love offering. Na pia kama uko na furaha kwa kile ambacho Mungu amekutendea kuna kitu inaitwa sadaka ya upendo. So sometimes in the church we give a tithe we give an offering the normal offering it is called love offering. Okay. Then if you want what you have to multiply or if you want God to do something for you you sow a seed for something. Na pia kama unataka Mungu akufutendee jambo ama ile uko nayo ikaongezeke unapanda mbegu kwa ajili hiyo. So those are the three main offerings. Kwa hivyo hizo ndio sadaka kuu tatu katika kanisa. Amen. Amen. Uh, kama unataka unipokee fungu lako la kumi, nataka ukaweze kutembea hapa nipokee katika jina la Yesu. Wewe kama wewe unaamuka amuka sio zote Eh, wengine walitoa for service, wengine hawakubarikiwa kama wewe, so we are talking about you. We are talking about not everybody, we are talking about you. It is you. Na Mungu akukosea akakubariki. So, tunaongea juu yako. Mimi hakuna kitu na furaha kama kutoa fungu la kumi. Kwa sababu nawaambia wapendwa nimeona kazi ya fungu la kumi nimeiona kabisa amen hakuna siku sijatoa fungu la 10 na si fake i don't fake how do you call it i don't fake eh. i don't fake every i give it every sunday and i give out of what god has blessed me natoa kila ambacho mungu amenibariki na sio msandaka zenu mimi kama vile wewe umeenda ukabarikiwa na mimi ubarikiwa in the course of the week ndio natoa tithe because it works bwana asifiwe sababu inafanya kazi wapendo inweni hiyo fungu la 10 mbeleza bwana sema bwana ninakushukuru kwa sababu umenibariki na sasa kutoka kwa zile baraka bwana umenibariki nimekuletea sehemu yako ya kumi. naomba bwana ukaipokee na ukaweze kutenda kama vile umesema katika neno lako fungua madirisha baba ya mbinguni na unimimine baraka juu ya maisha yangu kazi ya mikono yangu familia yangu watoto wangu mke wangu bwana yangu mpaka tubarikiwe tukose mahali pa kuweka baraka katika jina la Yesu kupitia kwa hii fungu la kumi, baba ninakuomba ukaweze kukemea mwaribifu shetani asiharibu watoto wangu Asiaribu mzee wangu, asiaribu mke wangu, asiaribu biashara yangu, asilete magonjwa, asilete mikosi, asilete mikasa, asilete wizi katika maisha yangu kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Amen. Basi naomba ukaweze kuweka pale na kila mtu akaweze kutoa sandaka yake tuiombe sandaka. Simama na sandaka yako sasa wewe ambao unatoa sandaka simama na sandaka yako tuiombe. Simama na sandaka yako. Simama na sandaka yako. Simama na sandaka yako inue juu hiyo sandaka. Sema Bwana, ninatoa hii sandaka kama mbegu kwa ajili ya maisha yangu. Kupitia kwa hii sandaka naomba kafungue milango ya kazi, fungua milango ya biashara. Naomba uka multiply my income and my source of income katika jina la Yesu. Na sandaka hii ninaitoa kama mbegu ya kuvunja laana na mikosi na nukshi na kuonewa na kuchukiwa na kudharauliwa na kuonewa wivu katika maisha yangu. Natoa sandaka hii kama mbegu ya kufungulia milango ya kazi watoto wangu. Natoa hii sandaka kama mbegu ya ulinzi juu ya familia yangu natoa hii sandaka ya kusimamisha magonjwa na mikasa na mikosi na nukshi na ajali na maofu katika nyumba yangu kwa jina la Yesu baba pokea hii sandaka na uijumulishe inirudie kama imesindiliwa kama imesukasukwa na kama inamwagika katika maisha yangu bwana pokea hii sandaka 
na ukajaze ngala zangu na utele kupitia kwa hii sandaka roho ya umaskini roho ya kupungukiwa roho ya kukopa roho ya kukosa katika nyumba yangu baba ikavunjike katika jina la Yesu asante bwana kwa kusikia maombi yangu amen tutembee tutoe hiyo sandaka hapa na Mungu awabariki sana naomba naye na matangazo akuja hapa